Bumble at the test, Jimmy Anderson nets his reward. England roared to a consolation test victory in St. Lucia with a 232-run thrashing of West Indies. Jimmy Anderson took three wickets in the morning before Moe Nali and Ben Stokes polished off the rest of the hosts' batting lineup. Sports Mail columnist David Lloyd looks back at the final day of England's test winter. Jimmy nets his reward. Jimmy Anderson had a rare day off after going wicketless in the first innings, so what did he do? Go and bowl in the nets as England batted for all of day three. It paid off on day four as he went back to what Otis Gibson told him years ago to get swing in the West Indies you have to hit the pitch. Dropping like flies Joseph Butler shelled another at slip and was promptly dispatched to mid-off. Stuart Broad was the unlucky bowler again. He's had about a hundred catches dropped off him, which is extraordinary. Some bowlers take it philosophically when a catch is dropped off them. Then there are Broad and Anderson. Wilkinson's a wizard there have been some fantastic broadcasters from the Caribbean. Tony Cozier, Michael Holding and Ian Bishop to name but three. Well I reckon I've seen the next great one here on TalkSport. He's called Barry Wilkinson, has a fabulous voice and knows the game. It's been a pleasure to work with him. Sunshine sacrifice it's all change at Sky with the arrival of Rob Key and Nick Knight. I have to tell you I have sacrificed the chance to come home to winter and am staying out here for the white ball cricket. It's a tough job but somebody has to do it. We're back to Barbados and I'm going down to the karaoke bar at Street Lawrence Gap. All together now, sweet Carolyn. Don't forget the Irish everybody's looking ahead to the ashes but they forget there's a test against Ireland to come first at Lords. I can tell you the Irish are up in arms about being forgotten. There are a number of championship rounds in early summer too so there's plenty of opportunities for the likely lads. I reckon you could put nine England names down for that first Ashes test. It's just numbers two and three to sort out really. West Indies found it hard when you're 2-0 up you're desperate to make it three but circumstances worked against West Indies here. They were without their captain Jason Holder and then his replacement Kimo Paul suffered a serious injury. It's knocked the stuffing out of them but it was so important for England to put a show on and they did. Joe Root and company have been very forceful here. Up pop those fire eaters. I hit the wall after day three here and just wanted a quiet meal at a lovely beach bar here. Suddenly up pop those fire eaters again and they reminded me of my good friend Count Arthur Strong. He is never slow to regale everyone with tales of Billy Bugle and his flaming hoops. Billy used to set fire to these hoops and run through them. The Count always remembers Billy's final words, put me out I'm on fire.